What's up, everybody? Mike Gross here. People say, uh, people say I'm looking more and more like my dad these days. What do you think? Yeah? Anyways, um, great white, lady red light. This is for, uh, it's for my dad friend, Caparini, who, uh, his website is Dinar Alerts. Let me say this so you can hear it. Dinar Alerts. Oh, no, dinaralert.webs.com. That's D A or D I N A R A L E R T dot webs dot com. Go check it out. It's a very interesting uh, site. And my dad and Caparini are, uh, are buddies. So, Caparini, thanks for being patient. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so we gotta do this now. You want to tune standard for this? Okay, that's uh, I think Great White. Most of their stuff is in standard tuning. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing this, it's October 2013, and I gotta represent for Hollywood and for Halloween. I meant to say Halloween, but I tried to play it off. So check it out. The beginning of this. <coughs> Come on, closer. What am I doing sitting down there? Here's what you want to do. They're double pull-offs between two strings. This actually is an exercise I used to do um, in the early days when I first started playing to work on um, double, you know, for your pull-offs. And that's what's going on here. You're doing a pick, a pull, a pull. Once you get that concept on one string, you apply it to the next string. <clears throat> pull-offs is a, is a must, not just for rock players, but all players. So what you want to do is go to the 5th fret on the G. Do you play Caparini? That's what I meant to ask. 5-3 uh, on the G, like that, okay? You're going to pick the 5th fret. You're going to pull off, so you're going to snap this finger to make this one ring, okay? So pick, pull, and pull off to an open. So get used to it on the concept on one string, and then apply it to the other strings once you get comfortable with it. The next, as a matter of fact, I used to do like it's just like in Crazy Train uh, from Ozzy, Randy Rhodes, when he's doing that. It's that thing. So. 5-3 open on the G, 5-3 open on the D. He plays that, those six notes, 14 times. So the best way I would, you know, if, if this is up to your tempo and it's something you can play right now, I would count each time you hit 5G, you, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, till you get to 14. That's the best way. If you're going to play along with Great White on this, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. After that 14th one, you're just hitting an F5 power chord. Okay, there's your F, which is fret 3 on the D string, and the 5 meaning the 5th note of the scale. Without getting into all that, here's all you got to do. 3D, 5G. Hit those two strings, just a power chord, and just hit them and let them ring. And then go up to fret 15. I like to catch all the little things that gets overlooked too much, I think, with, with teachers. Even if it's a slide, it's part of the feel that's created. So you have fret 15, 
I'm using middle finger, doesn't matter what finger you use. Uh, you can use your toes, I don't care. But go. Right to around fret four. You don't hear the stop point of it. But if you use your middle finger, it'll hover right over fret four and then you're gonna move into this next part. Now, it looked like um, Mark Kendall, is that the guitar player's name? Like he's using his thumb on the, the low E. That's not super common, but it is used. Uh, Hendrix used it. Mick Mars used it. You know, if you got bigger fingers, you can do it. So I'm going to show you the way Kendall's doing it. And the dude has big hands. Take your thumb, go to the third fret on the low E, and you're going to palm mute that two times. And then bar the third fret on the D and G. Just bar it. Palm mute those two, hit them once. And then go to 5-5 five, five, D and G, no palm mute. Back to the bar, third fret, D and G, palm mute. Right back to 5-5 five, five, D and G. Back to the bar, 3, D and G. And then 5-5 five, five, A and D twice. So you have. And then you start it over, minus the slide changes part of this too. So actually, yeah. There. So you'll start it the same way though. You can go to the 5 D and G. And then so palm mute the 3 3 D and G again. And then 5-5 five, five AD, and then you're going to hit this power chord that we did after those double pull-offs, the F5. 3D, 5G, hit them together, and then fret hand mute, um, which is another little thing that gets overlooked a lot with teachers. Um, go, it can be in route because what we have to do is go up to 10G and 11B. Um, that's a long ways to travel to get there quick, so you're going to do this fret hand mute on the way. So as you're grazing these fingers up the strings, go down up and then hit the 10 and 11 G and B. And then do the first riff that we did. And then the last one is this. It's the same as the second one, right? Minus this. So you have two concepts basically within that rhythm, um, but I've split it into four quarters. First and third are the same, second and fourth are the same, um, minus that slide that we did, that part, okay? So once you get up here, you're letting it ring. And go up to fret 18 on the E this time, low E, slide it to around fret two. And then this is the verse section using F5 and G5 power chords, B flat 5 and C5 power chords. Kind of has that, the kinks, Van Halen, you really got me type vibe. You will palm mute the E and A and go. And what that is is 1 3, 3 5, 1 3, 3 5. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then that one's 1 A, 3 D. Palm mute, keep that palm, you know stuck in front of the bridge there, do the same thing. Four, five, six, seven, back to the beginning. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then this one, um, he does a little more with it. So one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, and that's it. So this is what, three or four parts there for you in that one. And uh, for Caparini, go check out his website. Okay? And, uh, man, I hate wearing this. But I'm doing it for you guys. Alright? Mike Gross is my name. My website is rockinguitarlessons.com. Now, right now, there's a temporary site up. And, uh, hold on a second here. There we go. I had a couple little somethings in there. RockingGuitarLessons.com Now, by the end of October 2013 or first part of November 2013, the official site will go live. 
So the one that's up now, um, which it's cool. I mean, it's got information there for you. Um, the, the main thing is, well, a couple things. One of them is, if you're interested in Skype lessons, uh, or lessons on Skype, all the details are there. The price breakdowns. Um, my Skype contact name is Rock and Guitar Lessons. That's on there as well. And the pricings and the breakdowns, how it works and all that. So check that out. Be sure to subscribe to both my channels. This one, as well as Rock and Guitar Lessons 2, which is my In the Style Of channel. Which is really cool, by the way. It's going really good. It's got, I get to create, and I like to be able to create. <coughs> I love to copycat, but creating is really where my heart's at. But I like to, to represent the way these bands are really playing and put the extra time in the research to get it right as much as humanly possible. Um, the le instruments taught, by the way, for Skype are guitar, bass, and vocals. My wife, Jolene, is the vocal teacher. Um, so it's a cool thing, man. You can break down, work on things from beginning to end, and fine-tune the stuff that's always been bothering you. Um, I like to try and bring out the creativity in, in my students, and uh, that's a good way to do it. And so if that's something you're interested in, step number one would be to, to send me a request to my Skype contact, which is Rock and Guitar Lessons. My PayPal email is tvxpunk at aol.com if you'd like to donate to this channel. Um, no pressure if you can't. Don't even sweat it. Just keep coming back. Tell your buddies, people you know in bands. to uh, Just send them over this way. Mike Gross, RockingGuitarLessons.com and these channels, which is YouTube.com slash RockingGuitarLessons1. That's this channel. The other one's Rocking Guitar Lessons 2. So. Anyways, I think I mentioned everything I needed to. Caparini, talked to you for a second at my dad's the other day. <coughs> and uh, I'm excited about that whole situation. If they can quit arguing and haggling over things. Maybe if I went over there looking like this, we could get something done, huh? Anyways, that's it. I'll play this on the outro for you. And, uh, you know, yeah, I do look like my dad. That's, that's cool. Yep. My dad's got a little more gray, but, you know, it is what it is. Pretty, huh? Alright. Go check out the rest of my lessons on here. Spread the word. Keep rocking. See you later. Mike Gross playing some gray white for you. <laughs>